Hey everybody, it's Amy Shermer from M Live, and I'm here to give you my pick for beer of the week. I'm up in Traverse City at Brew Ferment. My first time here, I'm so excited. I've got Dustin Jones here. He's the co-owner as well as the head brewer, and you've picked out a pretty special beer for us. Can you tell me about this? I see it here, it's the TCT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no label as of yet. Uh, the official bottle release is this Friday. Um, so we like to have little samples. You so know, the, just to make the 26th. Sure. Yep. Is that yep, right? Okay, 26th. so it's going to be releasing a bottle on the 26th. Also on draft here at the pub? Uh, there will be a little bit just to kind of sample, but most of it made it into the bottles. Okay. Right, where I think it's going to be uh, much better presented that way just because uh, the re fermentation gives it almost like a champagne carbonation. So. Oh, you re fermented it in the bottle? Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're coming out in 12 ounce bottles? Is that no, correct? like I said, this is just kind of for testing along the way, make sure everything's good to go. Okay. Uh, but we do 22 ounce bottles. The bomber. So, <laughs> big enough to share if you want. Maybe. Okay, so uh, because we're kind of getting back into what we're, what we're doing with the beer, but what is the name of the beer, first of all? Uh, so it's called the Traverse City Tart. Okay, so tell me about the actual liquid in the glass, and if you can open it up for us, we can try it. That's the key to beer of the week, is that I get to try it, right? She, uh, she's a feisty one, too. And uh, he's going old school here with the lighter, so I gotta love that. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Okay, so Traverse City Tart, I'm assuming you've got a little bit of tart cherry in there. And look uh, at that color. Of, I'm looking at that color, cherry and cherry I'm actually. thinking, yes, you do. So, so you have tart cherries in there. Yep, all uh, locally grown Montmorency's, so... Look at that head. That kind of that Dustin, that's gorgeous. Uh, just rich cherry flavor. It is a beautiful color and that head is absolutely gorgeous, which I'm gonna assume is from that second conditioning in the bottle, if I had to guess. Yep, it's yep. It's beautiful. Ooh. And it's okay, pretty, so tell it's me pretty more much about this. all cherry, you know, Roma cherry flavor. Um, but the base beer is actually kind of our 8% pale sour. Uh, so you're gonna get layers of kind of acidity kind okay. of mingling in with the uh, tartness from the cherries but it has just a nice dry finish uh, you, and you can definitely notice that just burst of like tiny bubble carbonation super teeny tiny bubbles it's like a champagne i love that i love the, the super carbonation and then yes it's definitely on the exhale i'm getting a lot of fruit a lot of cherry but it, in the body it's still all beer yeah so, yeah it's, it's, just, it's just a simple malt bill uh, very minimal hopping, uh, pretty much just a standard ale yeast at first before it hits the <laughs> kind of secondaries with all the bacteria and fun stuff in there. So. It is delicious. So this is a Traverse City tart from Brew Ferment here in Traverse City, but what else can people expect when they come here to the brewery? Uh, you guys are located just a couple of blocks off of the main street here in TC. Very small place, one barrel brewery. What can people expect? Um, just kind of a comfortable, inviting atmosphere. Uh, and fun beers, really. Fun people. like Always to... changing. You have a one barrel system, yep, yep. so they're always changing. <laughs> yep, we kind of keep a few standards on, you know, so people have that familiarity. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of experimentation, a lot of local ingredients, and we just like to have fun with it. And people seem to respond well because it's, it's new, it's interesting. So for better or worse, whether they love it or hate it, I mean, it's, it's an experience. It definitely is. Here at Brew Ferment, you guys are going to be celebrating your four-year anniversary this September, right? Yep, yep. Last Saturday of September will be four years. And what can people expect for that party? Because I'm sure you're going to have a party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be 12 hours of pretty much craziness. I know I'm trying to have uh, full taps, uh, plus probably six to eight different bottle releases throughout the day. There'll be prizes, giveaways, uh, free popcorn. I know we might have some food trucks out back. Should have some live music later in the evening, and I don't know. We do a lot of discounts. I'm gonna say it. fun it's gonna be too, a so. rager. It's gonna be a rager, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think last year I woke up um, on the floor in the brewery <laughs> at like four in the morning. So <laughs> I got to you. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be a rager. Okay, so if you want to get more information about what's happening here at Brewery Ferment, people should go to uh, breweryferment.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those fun things. The Twitter, as you do the Twitter. Well, my sister does it. All right. We're on there. We're on there. Check out Kirsten on the, on the Twitter yep. the Twitter handle. Anyways, uh, they're going to be celebrating their four-year anniversary this September, so definitely check it out if you want to come up here for the rager that's going to be happening. <laughs> and check out Beer of the Week, the TCT, the Traverse City Tarp. Got it. Cheers.